what kind of ecology is our education system within and what does our education system teach us about ecology it it isn't as though our students are ever outside of the process of learning how to be in relationship with their worlds and so I think the question for future education is really much more about what kind of context does education offer for them to learn to be in their world in a less destructive, more creative, more vital way. Um, my interest right now is, is about uh, looking at what are the meta messages that students are getting in the classroom. What are they learning not only about, say, algebra, as you're sitting in algebra class, but what is being taught in the classroom itself about how to be within the culture that values algebra and values those standards of relationship with authority, with each other, with developing character and identity, how to be the good kid, how to be the funny kid, how to be the bad kid, how to be the smart kid. Because every organism clearly has to respond to the context that it lives within in order to survive. And so every student is also doing that at all times. Every, every little tiny mouse that pokes its head out of a hole has to look around and suss out the context. And to think for one moment that in the classroom, students are just learning algebra and that the problem is at the level of curriculum, I think is an underestimation of actually the kind of transformation that we need to see in the education system itself in order to produce a different kind of understanding. For me, that understanding is about the interdependencies of life. When you look at an ecological environment, all of these organisms are in interaction. They're in interdependency. And if you were to ask, where is the forest? Is the forest in the trees? Is it in the grass? Is it in the soil? Is it in the water? Is it in the birds? Well, of course, it's in the relationship between all of those things. And by the same token, students that are in an education system are learning to be in relationship to their world. They're learning what does it mean to be successful? What do I need to know? What kind of information? How do I use language? How do I use identity to participate in the world that I'm in? And so to back up and ask that question then, what is the ecology? that education systems are taking place in. And that's an ecology of other institutions and cultural pressures, cultural pullings, cultural shapings of what the education system actually is. So is it the education system we have to change? Or is it the, the way in which it's being shaped by the world around it? Um, What can we give in that space for children, for students of any age, actually, to begin to develop their innate and, and onboard natural processes of perceiving relationship and complexity, which you have to do. The great paradox here is that in order to succeed in algebra class, you have to be able to perceive the necessary relational interdependencies within the culture and the structure of the class and the other students and the issues of hierarchy and so on and so forth to understand how to participate in a world in which that algebra class is valued is a, is a description of 
students' innate ability to perceive complexity and respond to it. Mm. It's just a matter of which complexity, which set of relationships, what are the meta messages? So I'm interested at this point in how that set of meta messaging could be shifted. What, what are the conditions in which education itself is taking place and what are the meta messages around that? How do we move those? What does it look like to create a context that values the context of the natural world and the interdependencies we live within? So that it's not like we've got to learn these pieces over here, learn to fragment and then defragment and then participate in a siloed world and give 5% of your profits to the, maybe the interdependencies of our world have some value. But that of course is, is not actually going to cut the need for the change, both at a societal level, at an individual level, and certainly in the level of the humanity the question for humanity right now and how to go forward. How do we live differently? And of course, education is at the very core of that. The International Bateson Institute is putting together a new research project that is addressing uh, a way to describe and provide the necessary evidence and research around how very small children actually perceive and can describe and work with complexity at levels that have previously been thought of to be quite abstract and only available to high-level uh, academics and other intellectual people, which of, of course is silly. Um, little children have to perceive complexity and relational process, and in fact, they can describe and work with it very well. So our new research project is really about what kind of classrooms, what kind of interaction with uh, adults uh, provide the sort of conditions in which they're already existing understanding and, and capacity for working with complexity can be nourished. Um, now the great irony here is that um, as grown-ups we haven't been given that opportunity. So in a sense uh, the little little children three and four years old are better at complexity than we are. If you're interested in getting involved with this project uh, please contact the Bateson Institute. Thanks.